best friend is a tractor. <laughs> His mum's a farmer. <laughs> God, thank God for that. I thought he was going somewhere else then. <laughs> That's the bottom line because Stone Cold O said so. <laughs> Welcome to reminding you why you love football. Uh, Amanda, our podcast. We are recording in Spotify <laughs> Studios today, and for reasons that will become clear, I am wearing an Austin 316 T-shirt. Um, what have you done, Tommy Stewart? <laughs> Seb's getting Seb's getting stunned later. Um, we're here. We're at Spotify again. Um, there's been a review. Just first class, five stars. Now, this is long, so I'm going to do it quick. Finding the pod has been a godsend. It takes me back to being a kid. The nostalgia listening to Jonathan Pierce on Capital Gold describing Cantona sending off at Sellers. And but God, I remember where I was when that happened. I was babysitting for my brother. Or that Monday night football, your bow of Olive v. Liverpool. I'm sure triggered by the pod. I had a recent moment which reminded me why I love football. On a recent trip to Iceland, five days flew past exploring the country and the sights. The missus and I decided to have a night to ourselves in Reykjavik. She decided to enjoy, enjoy the hotel. My choice was to look for a game. Seb. I found a game in, <laughs> I found a game in Reykjavik starting in 30 minutes and started to get giddy. Oh, it's Seb. A quick navigation search and I was on the way to the Icelandic National Stadium hoping to grab a last minute ticket for the game. Ten minutes until kickoff, I arrived at an empty stadium and car park, but a local game, a local game gave me the right address and I was back on the hunt for IR Reykjavik's ground. Two minutes till kick-off and I could see the floodlights. Goosebumps and hairs on the back of my hair stood oh, up. Yeah. A quick run through the car park and I made it in time. Fans of all ages, seating, standing, everywhere, every, eh, anywhere you wanted. No more than 500 people. At the burger van, orders taken by the mum. Tokens given by the daughter and dad on the burgers. Yeah. All generations together on a Friday night, enjoying the footy under the lights. It was a sense of community and togetherness that brought it all home. It really reminded me why I still love football. P.S. This bloke's from the U.S., by the way. Cheers to Seb, who recommended the Jolly Coopers earlier in the year before, <laughs> <laughs> before a trip to the Beverly. <laughs> of course, he was on a war holiday that day yeah. and wasn't there. <laughs> Article for the mag. <laughs> I'm based in San Francisco, and you all have free accommodation for the World Cup if you can make it. Well, there you go. That's essentially why. I am your, I am your host, Owen316 Blackhurst. <laughs> um, I'm looking to... Maybe get together um, a podcast version of Degeneration X and go around all the people we don't like doing that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Might start doing that. But um, <laughs> producer Tommy Stewart's in the background today. Seb White's next to me. Um, Seb's come of his, his undercover alter ego, who we know as Jason Porn. <laughs> Looks a bit like Jason Bourne in a hat. Looks like he's been on the run. Um, Birdo's still here. Still over from Italy. Um, and we've got a new sign-in. <gasps> oh! Say what? Communicado officiale. <laughs> so imagine if... Here we um, go. Let's say... Oh, I don't know. Let's say... Give me a, give me a sort of... A Midland Premier League player. Midland Premier League player. How about how about Mario Lamina? Ryan Fraser. <laughs> Ryan Fraser. All right, imagine, oh, imagine someone like that. No, 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 no. Imagine that Mario Lamina, yeah, Wolves player, right? Yeah, spent all day, every day, moaning to you about Wolves while wearing a West Brom shirt. Yeah, and got a move to West Brom. Yeah, yeah. that's the strategy Matt's implemented. So <laughs> he's been he's been cutting around uh, in a job for one of our um, stable mates in his Mundial hat. Dressed like a mix between Seb and Birdo, going to non-league games and <laughs> talking about talking about shit to him. And finally, the cookie has crumbled, and we've signed Matthew on a permanent deal. Um, Seb unfortunately introduced him to the group the other day as vice president of the Monday on non-league football weirdo club. Which is, if someone had done that to me on my first day at school, I think I'd have just moved. Uh, Matt O'Connor Simpson, yeah, here he is. Oh, yeah, the yeah, Double yeah. Barrel Express. Here he is. Hello, thank you, thank you so much for that kind introduction. Uh, just on how I got the job, if anyone is out there, they're like, oh, I've got this dream job. I want to, you know, really want to get it. I'm a bit, I've been thinking about it a lot. Just go, go and sit next to Seb and just name Ismian League players at him <laughs> until you grind him down and he sends you a WhatsApp uh, at like Tuesday on a 10 a.m. And then maybe like six months later, you might get a job. <laughs> um, me and Matt have a dirty little secret, actually, which I swore I would never tell anyone about, but I'm now going to do it on a podcast. <laughs> but, um, 
Which Matt, millions of people listen to. Yeah. <laughs> when Matt first joined the company, I was doing a bit of... Um, I, it can't be moonlighting because I didn't get any extra money for it, but I was... Uh, there was a bit of a vacuum um, uh, at goal, so I was helping out a bit. And anyway, it was the day that um, Seb's Majesty, the Queen, died. <laughs> And there remember, was a, where, remember where I was? There was a request to populate the site with um, stuff oh, about yeah. the Queen's relationship with football. Anyway, um, I DM'd young Matt, who hadn't been um, who hadn't been with the company long, and said, "Look, this is what we got to do. You fucking put it together. We won't put your byline on it, and I'll never tell anyone you did." <laughs> <laughs> and he went deal, and we got it done. Site was fine. People happy. And we go. Yeah, it was quite a commission. It was like, okay, we need we need six six slides, six uh, sections. You know, the Queen's relationship with a beautiful game. And it's like, right, I mean, obviously that's fucking mental. But... <laughs> you know Just what? fucking do the I, FA I, Cup I, final six times. Yeah, I'd been made redundant like two weeks earlier and I was like, I, I can't, I need this job. So I'm going <laughs> to pull something out of my ass. You actually messaged me, didn't you? Oh, yeah. You messaged me to do it? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And Birdo, oh. Birdo refused. Obviously. You WhatsApp me? <laughs> I, I was actually back in Italy. I was in Victoria Station when she died and when everyone got the notification and there was the collective inhale of breath in Victoria Station. <gasps> oh and my God, Seb's just kicked, kicked, kicked that bloke off the piano, said it's not right. And, <laughs> and, then, and, then, it, and then in Gat, uh, Gatwick Airport, every single screen, so everything from big adverts outside to tiny screens inside that said like, I don't know, take water out your bag before you put it through. Thingy. Every single one of them had a picture of Her Majesty on. And black background. A black background with the de- with her uh, date of birth and death on it. Yeah, yeah. Every single screen, so yeah. everywhere you looked. It's enough about the royals. That is enough about the royals. We keep um, going on to the royals. <laughs> <laughs> What? Leeds United were founded on this day in 1919, the day this podcast is released. Leeds, and, Leeds, um, Leeds. Interesting club, aren't they? Leeds United. I fuck it. Well, I fucking love going to Island Road. Strong brand. He's really? a strong brand and a great strong brand. football. One of my, <sighs> if you're not being... One of my best mates is a Leeds fan, so I've got a bit of a soft spot. And, um, yeah, Same. Like but the club. Also, very, you know, obviously, you know, a famously textured history, but recent history, they've been a fun, mad club to support. The banter years going yeah. into Bielsa. Yeah, not not that fun for a lot no, of it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> no, no, no. There's been was, a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was also the anniversary a few days ago of when that um, young fan was sent to the ground um, in blackface and with a, um, oh, fuck, yeah. a a yellow Mohican to have his picture taken with their lads. Oh, Juve, Juve just beaming next to him. Yeah. So the anniversaries just keep <laughs> yeah. coming. Yeah. Oh, that that's what happens, isn't it, with uh, days. Things just, happen on days. They just keep coming. There's also an anniversary of um, like that. Balotelli's Why Always Me celebration, which has been gloriously, gloriously, uh, gloriously, yeah. gloriously um, upgraded in the current goals issue of Manal by our pals at Sister Marosa, who have done uh, one of the, one of the greatest photo shoots I've ever been involved in in a, in a long and not that storied career. Mm. Um, so we have got we've got a lot to get through today. But first, this new little regular. We don't know if you like it yet or not, but. It's Seb on the spot. <laughs> we, we can have a little bit of theme tune. Sebi's on the spot. Sebi's on, on the spot. The spot. That's not gone down well. No, I didn't. <laughs> Basically like the Uwa can. Sorry, Matt, I don't know if this is going to work out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait there. <laughs> you stay over there, Tommy. He's never going to drop. He's a big boy from Yeovil, and he loves the fucking lot. Slop. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Ooh ah ooh ah ooh His best friend is a tractor. His mum's a farmer. <laughs> God, thank God for that. I thought he was going somewhere else then. <laughs> He's a turf respecter. <laughs> here we are. Here we His are. His dad's this gone is... off to Greece. See, this is what happens at Mundial. This is, he know. grew up in a shed. <laughs> so they had some fucking peas. <laughs> Ooh, arr, 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 arr. Arr. Right. Okay, so... This this week, <laughs> this week, this this week is the fucking anniversary of Diego Armando, uh, Diego Armando Aradon, Diego Armando Maradona, a fellow turf respecter, making his a senior debut for Argentinos Juniors. Um, before that, obviously, he rose to prominence in their um, famed uh, Les Sebas. 
if it was in normal Spanish, it'd be Les Ceballitas. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Uh, I believe, according to my brother, who lived in Argentina for a year and spoke pretty good Spanish, unlike you. Uh, less, <laughs> if paella is paella, Les Ceballitas is the pronunciation. Okay. Paella, it's like a different sound. Doesn't it mean little onions? Yeah. Yes. It does, yeah. So, um, I've got three facts. I mean, fuck me. It's pretty good. You're hardly a babel fish. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I only know it because uh, yeah. Mike Gibbons wrote about the little onions in his cover story for us. Anyway, um, there's three facts here, Seb. Mm. A, B and C again. Go on. And you've got to decide. So, A, the team went on... This is the junior team he played for, yeah, right? Yeah. The team went on a record 140-game winning streak over two full seasons, winning two Avita tournaments. This catapulted Maradona to national fame and got him the nickname El Pibe de Oro before he'd made a first-team appearance. Los Shebiitash, Los Little Onions, got their name because so many of their players were small and underdeveloped, with Maradona himself being known by his teammates as the Little Onion. Coaches originally thought he was an unnaturally small adult rather than an eight-year-old boy because of how he played. Mm. They had to check his identification. Right. Number three, a Puma representative was at Argentinos Junior to provide players with boots in their early skirmishes with Adidas, which were rife in the 70s, saw the 14-year-old Diego and approached his family with a lifetime in- endorsement deal. His dad agreed to it, but only with a handshake so it could be re- renegotiated when Maradona achieved the fame they all thought he would. Oh. So A, B or C? C sounds very true. So it's between B and A. You can't remember what A is, can you? No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. A. El Pibe de Oro. No. A. 140 game winning streak, earning him the nickname El Pibe de Oro. Yeah. So it's 140 game, one game winning streak. Yeah. Los Chebiitas nickname because um, him being called Little Onion and they were all small players. They thought he was an unnaturally small adult. And C. I'm going to go for A because I don't think he was. I'd, I'd, yeah, 140 games. You know, no. The, no. No. The fake one yeah. is the one you thought was the real one. <laughs> <laughs> And what is it? Ooh, arru, arru, arru. <laughs> no, no, no. I made that story up completely this morning while I was having a shit. <laughs> Poop tracker. The Puma representative was at Argentinos Juniors. Ah. Oh, never no, happened. No. Never. Not, not, yeah. I oh, know that's come from nothing. That's just. That's just you. That's what's come from. Out there. It's yeah. Come, but honestly, uh, straight away, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was true. Oh, well, there you go. Was he nicknamed El Pibe de Or? Oh, Pibe de Or. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. One of many nicknames. Yeah, but uh, yeah, <laughs> the... it's El Pibe de Oro, isn't it? El, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. was. Because wasn't Valderrama nick- nicknamed El Pibe? The kid. That's why then. Got yeah. That's what put, threw me off. <laughs> my, my the circuits went Valderrama, Pibe, Maradona. That can't be true. Good one though, isn't it? My fake one there. That is a good. Oh well, the fact that I Brilliant. said straight away that it was definitely true, <laughs> 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 and he made it up on the toilet. So Sebi is on the spot and not doing particularly well at the moment. No, that's, that's two, two now, that's and two it's in a row. Um, yeah. the dungeon master's winning. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Listen to this for a nightmare blunt rotation of birthdays. Sam Allardyce. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is what. Paul Ince. <laughs> Robbie Savage. Fucking hell. Oh. oh, this this week, not on the same this, day. Not on the same day. Jesus no, Christ, no. though. Yeah, the gates of. The gates of hell didn't open on one specific day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, back in 1814 was the London beer flood, but yeah. I think that's just... Um, <sighs> just, that's, a, just, just an Seb's average way. Saturday night yeah. for Seb White. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, Matt. That's oh. why I put it in. These, this is what he does. This is what he does. <laughs> they all count. Why have you gone un- undercover again, by the way? Who are you, who are you, who are you snooping on? No, it... <laughs> It, 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 <laughs> right then, go look at last week's episode and see my hair. That's why I put we're my an hair award-winning on podcast, which is four point nine on Apple, five star on Spotify, and this is reminding you why I love football. <laughs> Adventures in Clubland. <laughs> Adventures in Clubland. So. Um, Rather than just take the piss out of Matt, I was going to introduce him before with the Pulp Fiction of Bring Out the Gimp, but I didn't, because <laughs> I didn't think that was fair. Um, so instead, we're going to give him an adventure in Club Land. I'm going to, I'm going to tee it up. It's, um, so Matt, you're a, like Seb, you're a, a non-league man. I'm, I'm the non-league boy, maybe. The non-league boy to Seb's man. Peep, yeah. peep the non-league. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Good. LP Bader weirdo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do some t-shirts for that. LP Bader 
If Maradona's gone, El Pibe do dog shit. Yeah. Oh, well, you right. get a lot of dog shit. Grassroots oh, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. awful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're fa- oh, it's awful. Okay, so um, Matt is a non-league fan. He's a Gosport Borough fan, and believe you me, he will fucking tell you all about yeah. it if you uh, sit near him. <laughs> so, but we are going to go to his beloved Gosport Borough. I did see him uh, last season when he was on the way to their biggest game. In a long time and travelled oh, yeah. tra- travelled a while, didn't you? Yeah, we don't talk about that, unfortunately. Uh, okay, it ended so in, in heartbreak, but yeah. So oh. we are going to go back to um, 2012, 2012. That's right. And uh, Gosport Borough, and this was a very special event in Club Land, and not one we th- I thought we'd ever do, but there's two of them <laughs> on now, James. The Vandals are at the gate. <laughs> <laughs> the Visigoths are sacking Rome. And, yeah. um, and we go there, Matt. Yeah, this is, this is my... Uh, football origin story really this is why I started supporting Gosport Barra and it to be honest I remember talking to James about this about six months ago and like I always knew it was a good story but his face when I told him I was like yeah this is good <laughs> this is good this is this is this is a good one it's a great story yeah it's, great story. And it's so, hard to if you look back at all the videos of the podcast it's hard to get an expression out of him <laughs> <laughs> so you, what do you mean that's very true well. that's fair what do yes. you mean Tommy what? says it all the time <laughs> Well, I'm just looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's He's got, <laughs> you've got a bit of Cole Palmer vibe about you. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh sh- yeah. Shots fired. I, mean, I, I don't mind that. I really, I really like. I love Cole Palmer. No, yeah. Yeah. Hits, hits, yeah. hits a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> what about fucking Tim Sherwood <laughs> doing that the other day? Have you seen oh, it? Oh, yeah, that's, that's no. just, just. Oh, he's on Soccer sickening. Saturday. Tim right. Sherwood didn't do the cold part. He goes, he's like, oh. on, so- it's a seven second click, Soccer Saturday. And he goes, oh, right, the goal's gone in. <laughs> yeah. so, the biggest that, issue with that is like if he just does it properly it's like that's that's horrendous but like yeah, at least yeah. you've done it he's like sort of half arsed it yeah. it just oh, he looks oh, it's bad it's I've bad. Kind of have not seen that I have not seen that I would hate to go on holiday with Tim Sherwood yeah. yeah this is a man who played a 4-4-2 with Soldado and Adebayor up front this in like 20 oh. whatever this is a man who unfortunately <laughs> for him um, also asked for um, a right pain in the arse me uh, to um, critique his uh, magazine he was doing with Jamie Redknapp. Oh, oh what was it called? <laughs> oh, fucking Ballers or something. <laughs> yeah. The name's yeah. wrong. You can jot that down for yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can't remember what it was called. Well, uh, one thing I will say about Tim Sherwood, <laughs> I do think he, he was responsible for one of the very early Mundial viral social moments. You know, the one where he opens the door with his foot Oh my god! It's fucking incredible. It still makes me. As soon as you said Tim Sherwood, it was a terrible magazine, and I told him. I just said, "Come on, this is a fucking joke." Yeah, yeah. Can't be doing stuff like this. Can't be giving you what you can't be making your wise fashion editor. Come on. Yeah. No. no. And then I sent my invoice. This is (laughs) no, no. no, I had to do it for free because Phil Bab was there, mate, and he was my boss at the time, wasn't he? Absolutely. Anyway, Gosport Borough, 2012. Go. Yeah, pitch the scene. So I'm a a 14-year-old boy. Um, and I open up the Portsmouth News one day and I see my local team, who I'd been a couple of times, but not ever really properly got into it. Were you a Pompey fan at the time? No. Ah. You didn't oh. have a big team? Oh, fuck me, I did. It's gonna be, it's, a long, it's, it's a weird long story. Yeah, so, right. I was actually a Leicester fan growing up. Um, and this is based on my dad's a Chelsea fan. He grew up like in, in, oh, in South London. And, okay, uh, fair enough. I started off as Chelsea and then I had formed this attachment when I was about three, four, five to Dennis Wise, really weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, I have no memory yeah. of this. Like he was in the office memory. recently. Yeah. Was, why is he? Why is he, yeah. yeah. He oh, there. he didn't tell me. No, no, no. no. They had to adopt a six metre rule because Seb was legging it down the stairs with his autograph book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good very good that's very funny <laughs> anyway why is yeah, so he's there and then in 2001 or two he goes to Leicester he's sold he's actually only there for like six months because he uh, breaks Callum Davidson's jaw uh, mm. in a dispute over a card game yeah. but I still loved Wisey, I've apparently so I was yeah. then became a Leicester fan and then wow. he, of course he joined Millwall and I was like, right. Like, yeah. I must have said to my mum, like, I'm, I'm going to be a Millwall fan now. I was like, no, you're fucking not. Like, <laughs> absolute, you know. Yeah. Bait on their, on their reputation, yeah. What a great story. It's great. And then, like, I, yeah. So, anyway, you've ended up supporting Gosport. Yeah, Borough. I've ended up supporting Gosport uh, from the newspaper article. Me and my mate Ed head down. Uh, they're playing a team called Mangotsfield from the West Country. 
and like near Brizzle Way. Near Brizzle Way. <laughs> 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 and we sit, sit him on the stands and these guys just like there's like four or five of them away fans have come and they just start singing cider cider <laughs> cider <laughs> <laughs> just that. that it's the best chant just that it's the yeah, best yeah, chant of all that. time for like a long long Sebi, time Sebi <laughs> Sebi <laughs> yeah, that's very good oh god that's brilliant yeah and then so Claridge is, uh, is on the bench for this game as well and he comes on and scores but like the, the, the real sort of attachment to it is from the whole experience I mean the Mangotsfield fans are still like can picture him now like yeah it's why I really got into non-league football how like close it was and everything you know we discussed this many times. Well, I haven't. I haven't been there, but I've listened to you discuss many times. Why mm. non-league football's great? Feels real. Yeah, yeah, it feels very much yeah. real, and it, it was great. So we, we we kept going throughout that season, and we have a pretty good run. Uh, we finish in the top five, so we get into the playoffs. Um, uh, what type of teams are you playing against this season? Give us a few names. Few names. Uh, so oh, I'm trying to think of some non-playoff names so I can bring them in later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably Saint, Saint Neots, I reckon we're kicking around. Biddeford. Oh, we don't like Biddeford. Biddeford. Oh. oh my god, I was one of the most pissed I've ever been in Biddeford. Yeah. I fell flat on my face in a nightclub. Oh, Bi- dear. really? Biddeford, yeah. Why were you in? Why there? were you there? For God's playing, sake! I was playing. I was uh, playing uh, Westwood Ho Royal North Devon on a travel story. <laughs> got you. Got, 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 literally, got, like full on douche. Got shitted in Biddeford. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Seaford <laughs> nicked a load of wine from the hotel we were staying at. Or we did that afterwards. Jumped behind the bar. Back, yeah. back out. Necked it. There's a picture of me in a cab going out. I shouldn't have been allowed out. Yeah. yeah, should have been allowed in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Biddeford. Biddeford. Yeah. Biddeford. Um, Taunton must be Taunton. Yeah, Taunton yeah, yeah. probably at that sort of time. Uh, Poulton as well. Poulton all very Rovers. similar around the West Country, yeah, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Various tons. Yeah, Tiverton yeah. were probably kicking around. Oh yeah, <laughs> Tivy. Oh Tivy. Bit of Tivy. <laughs> right, yeah. come on then. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This is Steve just... Claridge. <laughs> Tell me about Steve Claridge. So yeah, so we get so we get into the semi-finals. We get through. Justin Bennett scores a great header. Uh, sorry, a great overhead kick. Sorry. Um, one nil, brilliant. So we're into the final, and at this point, Steve Claridge is he's, he's big on the BBC. He's on the Football League show, wearing mm. his brown shirt every week, always yeah. the same with yeah. Manish doing Manish. all the doing his highlights. He's an, an iconic time in football. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. He's it's, it's got the triangled haircut, yeah. hasn't he? The hairline it just comes through a perfect triangle yeah, on yeah. his forehead, and he's there, and he's just like. Unbelievable knowledge. He, he, he'll, he'll do 20 minutes on Shrewsbury's result. Not a problem for him. Yeah, yeah. He'll do it all. <laughs> you know, we'll have one featured game, then we'll play seconds of highlights. You'll wait up until 11.45pm <laughs> <laughs> so, to watch Gillingham 2-1 against Manish Stevenage. On the, yeah. Manish introducing it on the balcony. And yeah, you yeah, look at it down. So good. It's like, don't don't do it, Manish. Don't it do it. Good. You'll be on match of the day soon. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Where is he? Joking aside, that. Manish. He, he does good. corporate stuff and, and all that sort of stuff. He, did, he does the Leicester Awards. We, we've every all year. done it, Manish, don't worry. Yeah, we, <laughs> we all have. <laughs> I mean, I've, I mean, we have. No, we are. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, right, okay, so we're in the final now. Brilliant stuff. Playing. So Steve Claridge at this time, right? Yeah. So he was never he was never known for pace. No, certainly not. Or anything not. like that. But the man could sniff out a goal. Um, <clears throat> scruffy and every man of a footballer and every man journeyman everything yeah. everything you want I had a mate who played very much like him who was known as Claridge um, but is he just the same just a bit older yeah, yeah. that is not, not just a bit older that is I mean he's 40, he's 40 I should have said that at the start really at this age he's 40, 45 years old <laughs> I'm, well I'm 46 <laughs> now. I'm 46 now so this is like me turning up to play for your club yeah and like, I know you. He's I know, forty-six. Listen, I know you think you could turn up and, and start. No, I don't. Got, yeah, okay, that's no. good. No, okay. I do. I, I, I think was, I could. Yeah, but, but no, no, if my no. knee was all right, I would. Oh no, Messi. <laughs> I'd be your hero. You, oh, <laughs> fucking hell! You, you'd be wearing wigs in the in the in the crowd. Oh, the wigs, love it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jer- journeyman Claridge. Uh, let's say he's got since two thousand and twelve. We don't care. Oh, we know in Blackhurst. I reckon. <laughs> It's 15 years, it 15 years oh, previous, no, 15, 15 years previous yeah. to this, he was down the mall. Down everyone's the mall. been down, down the, the, everyone's Mate, been down the fucking Clar- mall. Claridge has been everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's been. He used to wear, <laughs> he used to wear odd, sh- odd shin pads with his yeah. one sock roll down and one Still roll Still had it. So one of his big fixtures of gospel was like, it wasn't odd shin pads. He had no shin pad on one of them. He was wearing a sort of compression sock yeah, that he'd just rolled madness. up into a sort of, like those. A sausage. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, a chorizo around the uh, <laughs> around the left ankle. Yeah, 
unbelievable. I don't yeah. know how he got away with it or why he did it. Yeah, I have he, did, he, did, he didn't stay. He didn't stay for very long at Miami. No, he didn't all. stay. Away. His, his longest ever spell at a football club was Weymouth, who was there for three years. Boo! Boo. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chiru. We ain't the bastards in Clara and Blue. <laughs> <laughs> why don't more people listen to this it's brilliant yeah. I enjoyed that it's brilliant <laughs> I was so hoping you, do you know yeah I was hoping you'd mention that I was yeah. as well because I, I, I yeah, love yeah. that song anyway yeah. so we're, Steve we're, Claridge we're at the play <laughs> stop no singing so the playoff final's on you know we, we, we're giddy with the fever from the overhead we're all in uh, my dad's mate's transit van uh, first time I've been in it looked at the back Exhaust is being held up by a bit of rope that's been tied on. So it does make it though on time. It breaks on the way back, but we make it to pull. It's it's a it's a it's the back of a school playing ground, basically. Have you been to Tottenham? Okay. Yeah. It's it's crap. Has he been? Has he been? Tottenham ground. Funny enough, I broke down signs. on the way back from Paul Town. There you go. There you go yeah. Maybe did you, have any, did you have any ropes in the back? No. Maybe no, the he's maybe, not, he's maybe not the not home fans mess with the mechanics whilst you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the crap the dolphins, of course. Paul the Tan. dolphins. <laughs> of Thank you. Very important. It's very important. We get that down. To be fair, they are. They are indeed called the dolphins. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry, Matt. I get, I'm just getting giddy. I think he's had someone, no one else to someone talk to of about. my kind. <laughs> he's with seven, seventy episodes in. He's had no one to talk to about this shit. Yeah. He is fucking. Look at him. The Look dolphin. at him. Look how happy he is. The, the dolphins, of course. <laughs> right. Let's get this. We cro- right. Yeah, we croc. So there's only one stand. I'm not in there, obviously. I'm beyond the, I'm beyond the goal. No no hint of a terrace or anything. We just, you know, it's the, the classic barrier set up. What we are you go- wearing? Have you got some, like, um, like a... Like a, a- I, I'll show you what I was wearing. This is, um, I don't know if you remember, do you remember when Primark was doing a sort of graphic j- <laughs> jumpers yes. with, like, characters on? Yes. I had a SpongeBob jumper on. Oh, sure. my oh, God. Yeah. Brilliant. That was a thing for a while. You know, they'd have that and they'd have the old geek sheet glasses on. It's not a good look. Oh, my God. No, no, I didn't sign it. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I was <laughs> Tommy will be wearing it next week. Now. Yeah, it's, it's, it all comes back around. But, yeah, so Paul go 1-0 up uh, in the first half. It's like it's a really good game, very back and forth. Shit pitch, so the quality is not amazing. Mm. Um, but, yeah, we think it's all over, basically. And then Claridge didn't make the squad for the semi-final, but he's on the bench today. So, 10 minutes to go. Come on, Steve. Come on down here, son. Yeah. We need a goal. Yeah. Can he get us a goal? And for 10 minutes, no, he can't. And then 91 minutes on the clock. Oh. Paul's announcer. He's, he's, he's warning people, do not pitch invade. Do not pitch invade. They think it's one, James. They they think I it's one. They think it's over, James. I heard James. this on the clip. Yeah, they think it's over. No. Brett Pope, Gosport centre-back, Gosport legend, comes Pope. steaming up <laughs> from centre-back for the first time in his career, gets sent through by Justin Bennett. <laughs> Good save from the goalkeeper, but who, who's there? Oh, who's, who's there? Who's, who's sniffing sniffing around? Sniffing he knows. He's, He's sniffing it. it. He's ravenous for it. This oh. is what he does. This is, this is what, he what he does. Off his shin from one yard out. Amazing. And there he goes. Brett Pope runs to the fans. I'm clambering eye over him. It's fantastic stuff. Extra time. It's you lot they've got to worry about pitch invading now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, certainly. Not the home is. Fans. That's what I told him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're into extra time. Justin Bennett. Very early on, makes it 2-1. Oh. And then, to make sure he gets his brace, Steve Claridge picks it up, cuts inside from the left wing, shapes to shoot. It is absolutely crap. <laughs> it's an absolute, an absolute P-roller, yeah. but it still managed to sneak under Nick Hutchins. He's made a big error. It's in, isn't it? It's a and goal. that's it, 3-1. Unbelievable. Gosport are going up. And that is such an important game in Gosport's history. Is Our, it most important? It's the start of everything. Right. So after this, when you say everything for you or for the club, for the club, for both, well, for me as well, definitely. I that 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 after the season after that, we got promoted through the playoffs again. Season after that, FA Trophy final. Season after that, FA Cup round, uh, first round against Colchester. So transformative time for oh. the club and for me, per- it's perfect timing because I had so much free time yeah, yeah. and I lived in a small town with fuck all else to do. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to every game. It was absolutely amazing. I got you, everything, every good thing you could get in football, basically, out of that. Have you been chasing title. it ever since? Yeah, I literally have. And yeah. we, 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 I tell you what. And now you're here. And now I'm here. <laughs> and now you're here at the fucking Sergeant Seb's Lonely Hearts Club Band. <laughs> have you, um, do you think your life would have been different if they hadn't gone up? One million percent. Because people talk, when people talk about, oh, this is why I love non-league football, I love mm. my local team, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I, 
to an extent that's true but what actually helps when you're forging a you know a football support in it's like winning stuff like it's the best feeling in the world when you which support... is unbelievable that Seb still likes <laughs> yeah because he has supported a lot of shit <laughs> Well, that's what he, he counteracts it by supporting Chelsea women. Yeah, just, oh, like, that's true. Just like, oh, fine. Yeah, and yeah. Man United, I suppose. Yeah, that's no. true. <laughs> but it's, it's just a good, yeah, it's, it's a very good point. It's so amazing. You do need that spark, don't you? You do. Even if it's winning an FA Cup game. Oh, well, especially if yeah, it's not. It doesn't come from a family connection. Right? Well, no, it's, it's well, we've got my hometown, obviously, but like, I don't go my, my family really. No, because you, your dad yeah. was Chelsea. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Absolutely, Matt. It's a you know yeah. sec- second time around, still as good as the first. <laughs> but uh, what, what? Just tell 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 our listeners about the uh, the, the, the special stand. Oh, the special ground. stand. Yeah, right. So you know, is this pre- like the <laughs> the fucking the um, the two boxes at Hampton. the two boxes at Hampton? The, it's better. It's better than the what are they? It's what are they called? Portal cabins. Two portal cabins. cabins. On yeah. top of, one on top of each other. Yeah, I mean, I once saw Seb nearly fall off. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I was with the drink. The director's and, box. Yeah. The yeah. director's box at non-league in uh, uh, um, Hampton <laughs> Richmond is two portal cabins, and Seb was in the top. And we had the balcony for the day. Yeah. And I was downstairs talking yeah. to someone else, and Seb had been James pi- Kirkham, I think it was. Seb had been piling into it, ran towards the balcony. Beer spilt all over the fans down below. Yeah. Fucking hell, fuck you, ref. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Six-year-old daughter running behind him, yeah, yeah, mimicking yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's genuinely true. Ava, Ava had to be taken home. <laughs> Matilda came, didn't she? Yeah, Matilda was there. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Matilda was there. And out of nowhere, Ava just goes, yeah, fuck off, ref. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you were like that, sir. When Not you normally... There. To be fair, I think I just got giddy. Yeah, yeah. I get giddy with these things. <laughs> we all know. get my, giddy. I mate. was with my friends were in my home. Yeah, my I was, friends oh were God, with me. I was horrified. Crazy. We were all horrified. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that, yeah. when we all got down to gospel, I was crying. Oh. <laughs> you know what it's like when when you can finally convince people to make come to some non silly daft football yeah. ground in the middle of nowhere <laughs> to come and watch. Don't actually. But to be I, fair, you, I, I, I lived I, behind a non-league ground. You knew this. Yeah. It wasn't my first <clears> rodeo, <throat> Seb. No, I know. No, no. But what I mean is, you do get giddy when you, you can convince other people to do it. I would just like to say, I fucking hate when that happens. They ask stupid questions and they bring, <laughs> they bring the game to me. A purist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Off your pop. Yeah, you can drink while you're watching the. Football. But yeah, the special stand. Yeah, go on. The special stand. Yeah, sorry, I don't want to blow my beans too too early uh, because yeah. I think we're going to write about it for the website, yeah. hopefully. But suffice to say, there's a double decker. Uh, bus st- uh, behind the goal at Gosport and you can pay incredibly you have to pay more to yeah. get up onto the top deck uh, to watch the game <laughs> yeah but aren't uh, the seats all facing the wrong way no it's just, it's, an, it's an open top bus uh, oh like, well, yeah well yeah it is so you have to sit yeah. side on as well yeah, so it's really have, uncomfortable no, there's, there's, no, there's no sitting down <laughs> the, the seat's the, been taken this is up. you know this is the uh this oh is like the God. bear pit at, um, <laughs> at Roma or something, you know. The they're up there just like going. I mean, it's incredibly it's unsafe. Yeah. It's so, it's how, how many? How many? How many do you get up there? Um, you can get as many as you want up, brother. <laughs> I think I would you... say you comfortably fit twenty. Twenty. I mean, mm. it's it's a great idea for a trip. What do everyone, they think, think the Taylor Report is we in should... Gosport? <laughs> a Lincoln Park album. We should. We should do. We should do. We should do a special record from Gosport and record it oh, on, on, on the, the bus. bus. Because <laughs> seagulls just absolutely thrashing down. Because, like, yeah. I'm not going down. We might get fucking turned over by the dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> because what, Gosport's nickname. Uh, this is a great. This is another great one. We haven't got one. I want it. To <laughs> what do you mean you haven't got, got a nickname? nickname? It's just. Bar- I know. I hate it. I think it should either be the Have Seasiders you... yeah. or the Seagulls. I think Seasiders, not a lot of them like that, is there? No, no. Well, it could be worse. You could be called Hamrich, like Seb. Yeah, style. I mean, that's shocking. Hashtag. If we're talking about... <laughs> Mr. Corporate Non-League over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, buddy. Look at this. It's getting giddy. Um, <laughs> Hashtag. No, what I would say is, Gosport Borough's badge is phenomenal. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. It looks like... It looks like a beer pump, and I mean that in a good way. A big, you know. I didn't yeah. think you meant that in a bad way. So. <laughs> no, no, I meant. I mean it in a. You know, I, you imagine, know, I was in no illusion. You thought that was a good thing. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a, a beer pump, and it's it's it's. It, what, is it, what does it it's say? A, on? It's a Viking ship, uh, God's Port, our haven. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, uh, it's you know it's beautiful, but I can get behind that. Also, yeah. what I can say about Gosport. You have to get a ferry there, don't you? You don't have to, but you can get a ferry. Yeah, you can. It's a night. Get the ports. It's like a yeah. So it's a little. Um, 
Penin- is it Peninsula? Yeah. 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 It uh, popped, so you, yeah, get, popped, get, yeah. Get off at Portsmouth. Nip it popped over. up again yeah, recently yeah. that um, away fan who booked a hotel in Portsmouth oh, and brilliant. it was on the Isle of Wight. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. <laughs> to get the ferry over to have a shower and to get changed to go back. The best bit about it is. <laughs> it's so good. The final one bit. Rate, he gives it's it so a one good. rating yeah. on TripAdvisor. Doesn't he put on the hashtag or is it literally the last line? 11 miles, my ass. <laughs> and it's just the back of the ferry as he's going across to the yes. Isle of Wight. And it's like, <laughs> it's true. It's still, it is 11 miles. It just so happens as a fucking. That, that was a how big many, 11 then wasn't how many it? times a day do you say it it follows you oh God, round it does sorry yeah, why yeah. can't you say 11 <laughs> 11 11? It's not that was that was the biggest one I've ever read. It was a big one, wasn't it? I got Giddy. You're eleven miles. I'm, I'm talking about football fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just um, anyway. Come on, Claridge. Claridge. Yeah, we talk about Justin Bennett. Uh, he was just he was the guy who was. Um, I thought his, we were done. No, 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 no. 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 Bloody that's yeah, what bloody. Yeah. That's why I was so. Whoa. That's why I was so keen to wrestle it back because I've got some good quotes on it. So yeah, Justin Bennett, he's our all-time record goal scorer. He's playing up front with Steve for Eight. the majority of that season. <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous. That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Eight, go- eight goals. Doesn't even yeah. make sense. 433 okay. games. But yeah, um, Justin was very kind to provide a voice though. This is what he told me. It seemed a bit surreal that he was going to all of a sudden be joining gospel and playing with us. But I was relatively confident that I wasn't going to ask me, that he wasn't going to ask me for the team. He wasn't really at training much, but when he was, he was well off it. <laughs> oh, he certainly wasn't up to speed with the rest of the lads and I was thinking he might struggle in games seriously he couldn't even trap it <gasps> but I remember the first game showing in the FA Trophy he scored the winner I was shocked by his work rate and his ethic in helping the team I was in the prime of my life and probably should have been doing more running than I was but I felt I was there to score goals <laughs> in the first game he was just sprinting past me to close down fullbacks I opened my eyes that I should be doing more playing with him made me a better player Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Isn't it? The man himself, as well, of course, Steve. Well, let Steve uh, take us out. That's yeah. a great adventure. What? Um, y- yeah, got Steve. Got Steve. Craig, got yeah. Steve on the blower. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Big Stevo. Yeah. Thank you. I- yeah, tell me, you haven't been. Tell me, you haven't been taking any notice of the <laughs> WhatsApp or the podcast group without telling me you haven't been taking any notice of the WhatsApp or the podcast group. Or the running order. Um, or the running order. Yeah, I would also say that Seb's left a little note in here that. Um, Steve Claridge's pre-match meal was two Weetabix, three pieces of white bread, and a tin of beans. Brilliant. And that's the way it's always been. Not going to change now. Yeah, Which is, yeah. funnily enough, what Birdo said he misses most about by living in India. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Steve, Just then, Steve, take us away. Oh, sorry, Matt. Just very, very briefly on that BBC video as well. If you want to watch it, we'll put a link in the description. It's like a mini documentary his time at Gosport. And he's packing up his bag and he's like, oh, here are my heart pills. Got to take those from my heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is a guy, like, he, you know, he could have, he could have so easily... You know, fucked it off basically. You know, there's no reason for him to play yeah. when he's 45. But yeah. there's a bit right at the end of the clip as well where he said, you know, it's like, oh, if something, if there's something you love, it's worth fighting for. You know, that's why he kept playing. I think that's really like, yeah, yeah. it's good. Yeah, it's, it's good great stuff. Because it? like, espe- especially that, especially on the like, he he's 45. Yeah, he could be playing against a, a 20 year old fucking gigantic built someone who was born in a completely different generation, a yeah. different type of athlete entirely. 45, like. Could yeah. be dangerous at it's times. Not, yeah. mate, I played against a um, 57 year old bloke who played for Wolves, Arthur something his name was, and he was playing centre mid on a Sunday morning. And we had quite a good midfield, good players, and we couldn't get fucking near him. Yeah. His command of the space around him and knowing where we all yeah. were because he'd been coached well and was checking his shoulders and doing all that, which couldn't get near. I, yeah. I tried everything to kick that old bastard. I yeah. couldn't get fucking near him. But Steve Clarence doesn't look like an athlete, does he? He doesn't look like yeah, a, yeah. This bloke, an athletic build. He looked like a little pot-bellied dwarf. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stony for that. Blimey. No, he did. <laughs> It's he like, looked like something out of Game of Thrones. It is always really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping over it, like no looking us yeah. and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? He's no, definitely I don't know. the well, I'm he's disagreeing with it. He's probably the oldest player <laughs> I'm in the. So, I'm disagreeing with he's it. He's probably entirely. the oldest player in the league by ten years at that point. Yeah, but yeah. But, I, but he so, played in the Premier League, and these are a bunch of part timers. Mm. The levels are that wide; it won't matter. Understand that? I'm just saying it's a big age. It gap. is always like interesting when like a player's played really. He's taking really top, heart top, pills, though, and he's yeah. taking heart <laughs> pills. He would have been taking them when he was playing. We don't know that. <laughs> well, if you eat, if you eat uh, three, three pieces, pieces of, of white bread, bread for and every beans and two yeah. Weetabix before your game, I reckon you're not doing yourself many. Favors. Either or, it's not too dissimilar to your diet, Seb. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not doing myself any favors. I'm not saying that. <laughs> No, you wouldn't want Seb playing non-league football. I'd have Seb. I'd, I'd have Seb first on my team sheet, centre half, any team that I played in. Can't head the ball. No, absolutely. You not. can't head it. Awful. No, not really. No. Six foot four, jumps five foot three. But <laughs> let's 
Talking about commanding the space. Can't have the I can head it. I reckon me and you the back. space. Yeah. I can't do anything but head it, so we've got a good Oh, thing. there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. fucking you two. Dolly and Daisy at the back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's have, um, let's have Steve to take us home. Okay, well, my time at Gosport, how did that come about? Uh, well, I went to a game, sat in the back of the stand, and the manager, obviously the then manager, Alex Pike, turns around, as he does, and <laughs> shouts up, uh, what are you doing up there? You should be down here playing. Um so lo and behold, a couple of weeks later, there I am, wearing the Gosport shirt. Um, and uh, it was difficult, I've got to say, because I had to fit it in around I had things like Football Focus and obviously the Football League show. So I, I wasn't available at every game, but I was most games. I think I managed to get, I don't know, 10, 12, 14 goals that season. Um, and obviously uh, this coincided with the club getting promoted in the playoffs. Now, along the way, um, what does stand out for me was an unbelievable goal from uh, Justin Bennett, an overhead uh, finish that was quite incredible, I've got to say, even for that level. Um, the playoff final, that was on our way to the playoff final. We got there. Um, I didn't start. I can remember the two pool centre-halves saying how they were going to cancel us out and it wouldn't be a problem and that they were going to win the game, which I think really did get our backs up, uh, particularly myself and Benno. Uh, I didn't start the game. Um, yes, yeah, slightly upset with that, but managed to come on with about 20 minutes to go. We're 1-0 down and lo and behold, I get my customary tap in from about three yards. Uh, I think it's a rebound off the keeper or the post, whatever. We go into extra time. Benno scores. I score another one. And we managed to win the game 3-1. And we are promoted out of the league, which was a fantastic achievement for a club. I think that struggled for the previous, I think, 12 or 13 seasons to even get in the top half. So, yeah, a fantastic time, albeit quite short. Um, and a really, really enjoyable uh, six months. Thank you, Steve. Back again by popular demand, the big match. Uh, one of our favourite uh, sections, I must say. It gives us, it gives us great joy. Uh, we've done Queen Vic FC. We've done bed knobs and broomstick. Is that it? We only done two. So Bend it like Beckham. Oh, and Bend it like, like Beckham. Beckham yeah. yeah. Of course, of course. We tried to forget you. <laughs> well, you were away. What, what a horrible thing to say to someone. But we can't. It's impossible. Yeah, oh, there you go. Can't. Love to. Can't. Um, <laughs> this week we are going. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to uh, oh, yeah. real cult film. Um, awful, really, but but but, but fun to watch. Um, featuring, um, in, in in my humble opinion, two of the worst actors <laughs> shat out onto us in the last thirty years. Yeah, um, I've got beef with. Um, <laughs> well, it's Green Street, otherwise known as Green Street Hooligans in the US. Now, the scene we are talking about is when uh, Mr. Bachner um, from the world-famous Harvard, U Harvard University um, Harvard. <laughs> has to kick around with the kids. And um, what's his fucking name? Charlie Hunnam. Yeah. Uh, a man who now has done so many bad accents he can't do his own Newcastle accent, then <laughs> displaying what I can only describe as the worst Cockney accent ever committed to film. I, yeah. He looks good. His mannerisms are great. He looks fantastic. Yeah, but yeah. he just cannot do accents. And he's had to do a lot. He's been Jack's teller. Yeah. He's been a lot of things. Um, but they've obviously got a load of like... Um, West Ham youth kids or something. Because like yeah. these kids are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, well, these that, kids are that volley. Well, these kids are yeah. good. But let's well, start from the beginning. What's the other actor's name? Elijah Wood. Elijah, Elijah Wood. I fucking hate Elijah Wood. And I'll yeah. tell you why. Because I quite like Lord of the Rings when I was a kid. Mm. Like I, had, I liked reading it. And he, he's just an awful version of Frodo. <laughs> uh, in the books, Frodo's yeah. quite hardy. Yeah. He's, he's a fucking he's, simpering he's a wet in the films. Mm. Yeah. He, he's, he's sodden. Yeah. Frodo. <laughs> he is. Frodo. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Green Street Hooligans. Uh, uh, I mean... Seb. My, <laughs> you mentioned the accent, right? The accent is obviously atrocious on so many levels, but the script, it's like someone has watched Dick Van Dyke and taken him onto a football pitch and, and, and thought, this is how people in London speak. 
Yeah. He's an awfully English, indistinguished American. You know, it's yeah, yeah. it's like I've never heard anyone speak <laughs> yeah. like that in my life. That, so, so that's what I wanted to say is that that accent is completely unique. Yeah, yeah you the could, accent. You, you couldn't you, you you couldn't imitate it. Yeah, it, it's never been done before. What is this? What, uh, what I'd love to know. And the is thing like, is, the thing is, the yeah. thing is that you know. They, they might have they might have shot that scene. He's a multi-millionaire for being an actor. <laughs> twenty times, yeah. But that was still the best take. Yeah. <laughs> He's a well, multi-millionaire, a multi-millionaire for being an actor, yeah. and he can't do accents. Mm. It's literally the easiest one as well. Yeah. I answer. don't know if it is. I like, but maybe it is or it isn't. But if I did it, all right, son, it probably it, yeah, that that's probably that's already better. Yeah, but it probably doesn't sound like in <laughs> yeah. my head it sounds all right. But I bet when we play it back, I'll be like, that doesn't sound very cut. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? But. The ho- he, I mean, well, an, an amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing idea for a film yeah. that a Harvard journalist comes over Harvard. and gets into fighting. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. He, he, thinks, is, base, he, he, brilliant. Thinks, he thinks baseball's better than football. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish! No one has ever said <laughs> Not even a Harvard journalist has said that. A famous journalist from Harvard University. <laughs> All the kids just sat there in their little West... A couple of them have got a West Ham crest yeah, on just Yeah, well. just on that. Yeah, do you know uh, this we, is... We were all like me and Seb on t- IMDb. How we, yeah, how, how we got to it. We were it, just going down and Seb was just scrolling through all the cast and was just like, I just see a couple of names. I was like, oh, it's Billy Knott. From uh, of, of Chelsea, Bradford, Sunderland fame. Professional footballer, like so a good quite professional a few, footballer, and yeah. Yeah, crazy yeah. as well. Dan Potts as well, who scored the winner for oh, really? Luton and yeah, their yeah. Said that, yeah, because they look like they're very, yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see that you can see that they can play. But Elijah Wood hasn't got a fucking open L, has he? Oh. No, 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 no. We've seen some bad goalkeeping in football films before, but this this takes the best. I think that's yeah. that it's all, has to be up there. It's almost a genre of like fake goalkeeping movie yeah. stuff where you don't dive properly, you dive yeah, yeah. almost you don't <laughs> swallow over oh. the ball, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's and, right like, out of crumble the st- down. It's, it's right out of the Stallone handbook. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean the Bender But at least like, Stallone like looks hard and gets himself dirty yeah. and fucking runs around a bit. The Bender like Beckham one as well, the free kick yeah, at the end. Exactly. Which is the same. Everything everything about that scene is fantastic, except for the goalkeeper who like they re- move their hands back because they've dived too close to the ball. Yeah. Um, what I like best about that scene, and I think this is coming from, uh, you know, at a time in my life when I'm moving away from the country, and so probably clean, like looking at things from allegedly a slightly, <laughs> yeah, slightly fresh eyes, or at least like wistful. You, you rose tinted spectacles. You miss things. You miss things that are gone, right? Rose. But the, the You've been away two weeks. No. But let me finish. You're like some fucking ten let, pound palmer who's been down under for thirty years. I let me finish. But that, oh, that the rain, mate. Do you know what? I actually miss the rain. <laughs> yeah. that's, good. that's a very that's good, good very good. That's, good. that's very good. Very that's good. Very, good. Very, good. <laughs> very good. That isn't it? All right. Sorry. Go on. Sorry. The two, space. Two weeks. The space that that is shot in is oh, so yeah. brilliantly. English. It reminds me of being at school. Exactly. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Like the, the muddy the, posts. The muddy posts. Yeah. The back of the houses with the fence yeah. at the back that comes on thing. The flat roof school yeah. with the black bit at the top and those big those big windows. It's so quintessentially I was thinking English and the, brilliant. The flat roof school. So the school I went to, Bridge North in Dowdy, you probably played against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of dickheads. So it was uh, <laughs> fine. I mean, you wouldn't have got near us in my day. <laughs> <laughs> but we shared, you had Arthur in your team. <laughs> we shared the space. We shared the space with a leisure centre. So it was all uh, all flat roofs. Yeah. And, you know, when you're like 11, 12, you go on the flat roof and try and look into the women's changing rooms and, and all the stuff you do with kids. <laughs> yeah. But I remembered something the other day that I forgot about. And it was... A lad, one lad, I won't say his name, he had a poo on top of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> did he track it? Yeah. He didn't track it. But he did, ding, put, ding. but he did put a stick into it. Yeah, it says it. <laughs> right, and a bit on the end, and flicked it like that at someone else, and it landed on their lip. Oh! oh. <laughs> that is one of the worst things. And if the lad who that happened to had got to him, the other person would have died because he would have thrown him off the roof. Yeah. And it was quite, it was quite hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and two of us managed to catch the lad before oh we do, but trying gosh. to avoid the shit on his lip. It was fucking... I remembered it oh the other... God, it's giving me the shit. That's horrendous. I remembered it the other day. It was awful, but we used to go on those roofs a lot. But yeah, whoever whoever chose the, oh, the, lo- the, yeah, the, the location... The location. The way that, that film looks, perfect. all of it, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. It, this, the, the way it looks is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. pub scenes, like, it's good stuff. Yeah, yeah it's good stuff. It's, it's just... The, just the, the in a field of shit yeah. <laughs> the, the acting and the script is awful yeah. but the location script, the costumes as well well like, they and they, the hood, they really hoodwinked good. is that the right word hoodwinked 
They hoodwinked Hood. West Ham, didn't they? All right, Birdo. Yeah, yeah, they hoodwinked West Ham. <laughs> they didn't miser them, did they? <laughs> they did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they did. They, did. <laughs> they, they miserled the Amers. Hey, come on. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, yeah, they did. They might as well the hammers, didn't they? They didn't realise it was as full on about the hooliganism yeah. and stuff. Because, uh, you know, they, those players are from the West Ham Academy. Yeah. You know, or, yeah. Uh, from the academy system. Oh, I'd love a fucking kickabout in the mud there. I'd love oh, us yeah. five people to go and have a kickabout oh, Tommy with that goal post yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, honestly, that would be really yeah, That was the other good. thing. That, bit, of two, bit of 2v2, bit oh, of heads yeah, and yeah. volleys. Oh, no, don't ruin it. Just no, no, no. Just, just play yeah. it. Heads and volleys. Heads and volleys, just great. Pass it Get some crosses going, yeah. do some free kicks. Oh. Another like classic movie thing is like so they're in a they're in eleven's goal. First thing he says, right, we're gonna do five at side. Yeah. First shot you see, six kids playing yeah. on one of the teams. <laughs> and also like there's there's no second goal in shot. Why would you play fives and elevens goal? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. what's going on there? Yeah. yeah, unless it's a big knockout wham sort well, of situation. Well, Matt, this is why we haven't won any international tournaments. <laughs> it's just kids playing in the eleven side pitches and you know, just to well, remind no small sided games. Just a reminder that Cole Palmer didn't start a single game in the Euros. <laughs> <laughs> retweet, retweet, retweet. Give it a rest. What? Um, yeah, well, Green Street. I'm going to have to watch the full film. I'm going to. Yeah. I think I'm going to watch that tonight. I watched Football Factory recently again, and it's oh. aged well. See you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, it's aged well. To be fair. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want to cut you. <laughs> uh, bleed. Cut him. He bleeds lard. <laughs> Oh. No, I just think the spirit of football had come out. Oh. Yeah. Just... <laughs> All right, I'm Charlie Cooper. You might recognise me from BBC Show This Country, but I'm here to tell you how much I love Mundial magazine. For me, it's the fanzine of football, documenting the best of football culture forever. I'm very proud to admit I've been a long-term subscriber of Mundial for years now. Um, but if you subscribe, you don't just get the magazine, right? You get loads of other perks. Too many to mention, in fact. So join Club Mundial at mundialmag.com. Ins and outs, outs and ins. Tommy, Austeri- get over here and, get over here and share Matt's mic, for God's sake. If, it, yeah. if we don't let Tommy involved in this... What's Tommy doing? Right. So the reason I'm wearing an Austin 316 t-shirt <laughs> is because Tommy brought it down because he knew we'd be chatting about this. So my in <laughs> is Mr. McMahon, the, the the Netflix documentary about Vince McMahon, and which is also a potted oh, yeah. history of uh, WWF and WWE. Now, as someone who's into wrestling for about a year, the first couple of episodes sort of cover when I was into it a bit before which I don't like Cindy Lauper being at Wrestlemania and stuff like that oh and didn't you have a, didn't you keep a folder I had a blue folder which I wrote a load of results in my parents were going oh. through a divorce Matt it was a different <laughs> that's, that's, that's oh. nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that yeah uh. <laughs> <laughs> with the cards in or just a folder of no I wrote them all out just wrote the results Brilliant. there lovely stuff I mean it wasn't I, I didn't do it for that long yeah. I mean I'm quite faddy mm-hmm. I think I've done about six pages maybe. okay yeah, yeah. a couple of Wrestlemania a Royal Rumble a Survivor Series um, but Fucking hell. It, this was obviously, and it, it goes at great pains to say this as it should, It was the documentary was made before um, all the, uh, the sex trafficking and abuse and him leaving uh, WWE. Um, so it's obviously a fucking nasty piece of work. Mm-hmm. But w- what a fucking weirdo, man. When yeah. they interview him, just everything about him, his voice, the way he looks. There's, he's Trumpian, isn't he? Yeah. Mm, that's the, a very good the surgery thing. as well. The surgery yeah. is insane. He looks bananas. But, yeah. like, I got, I watched the... The most recent episode I watched was the Attitude Era one, which was what I only sort of knew a bit by osmosis, which must have been your three sort of... Yeah. My era. my my brother and two they, best mates, Bone, were obs- like, obsessed. How did yeah. they get away with like, all that shit? I know, it's crazy. I, yeah. I'm, I was probably a bit later, but, yeah. Well, that he, was... I, I was I was nine years old. Nine, ten, 1999, 2000. And it was, it was a case of... Our sister, so there's the three of us, there's me and my brother and my sister, and then there's my older siblings, but she would sort of fend off mum and dad and say, this is okay to watch. She was like 12, and I would have been 9, 10, Rich would have been 7 or 8, and it was, that's what we'd, Sky One, we'd watch it, 
And we were like, because mom and dad are just like, they think it's Hulk Hogan. It was stuff. misogynistic, yeah. they, they sexually, sexually explicit. Oh, it was a sexually awakening for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, men and uh, women. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Like Chris Stratus and Triple H. Yeah, I'll, t- yeah, I'll yeah. take either. I'll take it. I'll t- as long as I'm involved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my role. I'll take it. Very good. If that's the bottom line. Um, so it, oh, gold says so. But the, the best, do you know the best thing is? If you know nothing about wrestling, yeah. It's just like going in and watching the history of football. Yeah. But done but but basically dictated by a maniac. Yeah. That's why it's yeah, so yeah, good. It sure. is just the history of WWE, isn't it? It's yeah. just like yeah. a linear pathway. It's Imagine if um great. the Premier League had an attitude era. Oh, what would it be? The, the, uh, it's probably like the closer you get is Kane versus Vieira. Yeah. That's sort of that's, that's the, the attitude yeah. era. That's the stuff that people look back at. That, that yeah, you're right. That, that is the, the attitude, attitude era. era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look back or listen to a podcast about you know mm. you know yeah, made, you made, yeah, it, yeah, made yeah. with these very people that were sad. Gary yeah. Neville is doink the clown <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now Fizzer Fizzer is doink the clown Birdo's gangrel <laughs> the great the great Carly <laughs> <laughs> the, the, these, all, these all sound like st- these, these all, I don't know who these people are the great Carly, the great Carly. These, we, we spoke about him on, these, on these the episode sound, recently these all sound like yeah, step, step eight uh, non-league clubs yeah <laughs> Said the 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 great the great Carly is is an eight foot Indian man. Uh, <laughs> yes, we, I have seen. We can't him. wrestle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we can't, can't wrestle. wrestle. Or can barely move. Or speak. Jake the Snake was my guy. Oh, I watched yeah. the documentary last night. His yeah. what? Uh, the, um, Beyond the Resurre- Mat. The Resurrection. No, the resurrection. No, I haven't seen that. But like, yeah. have you seen it? Yeah, would yeah, is yeah. the question? Great would Premier League football? Not a good man. Would Premier League football in the era we're in now, which is. The opposite of the attitude era for the Premier League, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, football's almost getting too good. The PG oh, 100%, era. hundred percent, yeah. Would it be better if it was scripted? If a ring, if a ring, well, it already is scripted, Owen. So note that one down for stars. Yeah. <laughs> Jab that down. Yeah. One hundred and fifteen <laughs> charges, Owen. One hundred and fifteen <laughs> charges. Makes you think, doesn't it? If a ringmaster like me could get hold of it, you know. Yeah. But like, would football would football be better if it was scripted? It's an interesting question, and now you say it about what you because it is a bit too serious and a bit too good, clean. Yeah, it would be quite fun yeah, to like, really mix it. Get up. a couple of get a couple of heels in each team, like an unathletic bloke who just looks great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, they they briefly they, mix it up a bit. Do you know what I mean? Weirdly, so, weirdly, they reverse engineered wrestling when Vince yeah. Russo was briefly in charge. He introduced uh, a thing where wrestlers would have actual fights on the on the you know on the channel like, yeah. yeah yeah and it was just horrible it was so bad yeah. it was just disgusting it's yeah. like the worst thing because they ever done and from a watching perspective yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, right, well, really seriously it's, it's definitely well, in yeah. uh, go go and watch it it's um god i mean go I watch to, it god damn it the attitude era one i had to pause about four times i yeah, found yeah, it really yeah. hard to watch in parts the whole mr mcmahon thing is mental him I'm, as a character is that is absolutely the amount of gear wild. he's on yeah. to get himself in that shape all right james in What's okay your... my in is um a tweet that i saw the other day in response to that classic question of like what rule would you put in to football mm. well, if you could put any rule from wrestling to football no 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 just generally i put chairs and, and <laughs> <laughs> steel chairs yeah managers and, get and two the, chairs a game at an opposition player on the wing and <laughs> i i i think the response because you know people always say like i don't know do you, you have the goalie wars as the as extra time or whatever it was yeah. the person said that the manager has to take the fifth penalty Amazing. Oh, it's good oh. stuff. Great idea. Roy, H- Roy Hodgson's been in top bins, just, by the just way. The, the levels of it. Oh, my God. Talking about top Is bins. It? Have anyone seen Matthew McConaughey take that? Oh, oh I mean, yes. It's, yeah, it's that, good that, stuff. That Followers he... of Monday on Twitter that certainly have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but, yeah, manager takes this penalty. Brilliant. Love it. Great. Oh. All right. Uh, Seb. I'm getting really excited about 28 months later. Uh, It'll all be better for you then. <laughs> um, in Matt. Yes. Matt. I was, uh, I was just fucking <laughs> brilliant. That's great, though, isn't it? It's good. Uh, so when I first went to London about two and a half years ago, I joined the football team. I jotted it up. How many 11 aside games have I won in that time? It's about six. Oh, uh, my and I was God. Just, and I was, but I was just thinking, like, why do I keep going? And then we lost about uh, two weeks ago. It's the post-match debrief, isn't it? Yes. Because, yeah. you know, because... You come away from that it's like, oh, do you know what? We actually are really good. And yeah. like, yes. <laughs> I can't imagine that we would continue to lose various games of football because we've managed to work it all out here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we lost deep- again. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Post-match debriefs are in. Great uh, very quickly, my out is uh, FOD maps. 
I can't say everything they stand for because it's difficult, but someone told me about like, <laughs> oh, basically now I know what the fucking FODMAP count is of every food. Yeah. It's another, uh, that's another poo adjacent one, isn't it? Well, well it's just yeah. like, gut, bowels, gut bowels. Well, yeah. it's just stuff that makes like your digesting hard. And if you yeah. like, you can have 10 almonds, low FODMAP, crank it up to 20, high the FODMAP, high FODMAP. And it's fermenting. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 goes no. Down. oh, God. <laughs> Quite a bowel You are like King FODMAP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quite yeah. a bowel orientated podcast, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, as much it's, as football. It's, Seb, it's out, five, very quickly, five boys go. in a room. We've got to go. We've got to go. Out. Uh, the National League Cup. They've, the National League have got in bed with uh, the Premier League just for some cash, essentially. Ooh, yeah. That's essentially what's happened. <laughs> and now they've masquerading it as some tournament that's developing be, uh, Premier League teams, but also helping non-league teams. It's load of bollocks. Boycott, boycott, boycott. Yeah, 2,300 uh, attendance across the eight games. And that's 2,300 too many, you absolute yeah. scabs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting, good. Um, Matt? Uh, so I was watching Arsenal-Leicester game. Last 10 minutes, YouTube just cuts off and it comes back when... Um, it's it's over basically, mm. and then, uh, oh, Liverpool West Ham also went off. West Ham scored, and then and when it was off, and it came back on. Liverpool were like, oh, it's it's Liverpool fans. Like, oh, it's one all. <laughs> they dropped two points. Just oh, just you know, no just make it. it work. There's yeah, no yeah. excuse. Like loads of people watch it as well. Like it's piss poor. Um, and that's it, James. You don't get an out because you haven't put one in the script. Oh, um, and <laughs> I got. I got. There's got to be rules. I got one. No, we... and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold O says so. <laughs> <laughs> this has been remind you why I love football. He's been James Bird. He's been Matt O'Connor Simpson. He's been Tommy Stewart. He's been Seb White. I've been Owen Blackhurst. Uh, share it, rate it, pass it on. Uh, buy the mag, read the digital, uh, and don't come knocking when we disappear if you don't. Well, well done. Let's go. Well done, guys. Brilliant. Let's get out. Well done. Well done. Reminding you why you love football is a Monday Out and Football Co production. Produced by Tommy Stewart and Seb White, hosted by me, Owen Blackhurst, and recorded on the run.